All right, so the plan is we've got three different reactions here, and we have to write expressions for the rate in terms of the using up of the reactants and the formation of the products. So we should probably just kind of write down the generic reaction onto one side and figure out how to measure the rate of it. And so we've got, say, A of A and B of B and so on. Then we can always write down the rate expression by looking at changes in A, B, C, or D. And we just agree to do it something like this. So it's minus 1 over the stoichiometric coefficient for each reactant times by the change in concentration of each reactant with time. So minus 1 over B, and then the same thing for B. And the reason we put the negatives in is that these concentrations are going down. Reactants are getting used up. And so if we don't put the negative in, we'll end up with a negative rate. And again, we don't like negative. So two negatives make a positive and makes homo sapiens happy. So how do we do the thing with the products? Well, we do exactly the same, except we don't have to write the negatives in. And the reason for that is that they are increasing in concentration, which means that these terms here are already positive, and so we don't want to flip the sign. And so the same thing for D. So we should go back to our problem and just kind of apply this very straightforward recipe, straightforward if you can remember it. So let's have a look at A first. And so we've got hydrogen plus iodine going to hydrogen iodide. And so we can write the rate of this first reaction, and we can choose to measure either the change in concentration of hydrogen or the change in concentration of iodine, which is probably the easiest one since it's bright purple, or the change in concentration of hydrogen iodide. But be careful, we're making two of those at a time, and so in order to get the same rate no matter what we look at, we've got to multiply that last term by one half. And we're going to do the same thing for the problems B and the problem in part C as well. So in part B, we've got coefficients of 2 to 1 to 2. So we just have to watch out for that. And so the rate in part B is minus a half. So that takes into account we're using up two at a time. Change in concentration of hydrogen with time. Oxygen, well, there's only one of those, so we just have minus 1 over 1. We don't really need to write that. Change in concentration of O2 with time. And the water, well, we're making two of them, so in order to compensate for that, we multiply by a half. So it's plus a half, change in concentration of water with time. And the last one, oh my goodness, there's three reactants and two products, and only one of them's a 1. So that means that we're going to end up with an expression in any one of five different terms. And if one of these is easy to measure, we will probably pick it when we monitor the rate of the reaction. So since there's five bromines, we divide by five, so it's minus one-fifth change in bromine, sorry, bromide concentration with time. And there's bromate, so that's minus change in concentration of bromate with time. And then there's one more reactant, that's the H plus ion, so minus one-sixth change in concentration of H plus with time, uh, which I suppose we could monitor that one maybe by measuring the pH. And then we've got our two products, and so they're going to be our positive terms, and so that's going to be plus one-third change in bromine. Bromine's a nice colored compound, maybe it'll be easy to spot. And last but not least, we've got our water. And so since we're making three of them, we divide by a third. I'm sorry, we divide by three, giving us a third. So that's one third change in concentration of liquid water with change in time. So that's how we could monitor the rate of those three reactions. Now, again, remember, a good chemist is a lazy chemist. So if one of those changes is easy to monitor, like the disappearance of a purple compound, or, ooh, I don't know, the appearance of water, let's say, or the disappearance of hydrogen affecting a change in pH, then we'll probably pick that one to monitor.